How to create a survey. In this video, we will show you how to create a survey. First, click on Surveys, and it brings us to the Surveys page. If we click on the Create Survey button, the dialog box opens. Here, we give the survey a name and description. In this case, we will call the survey Sample Survey. It is important that the name has no spaces. We then add a description of the survey. In this case, we will call it Sample Survey. The description can have spaces. Scroll down and click OK. Now the survey has been created, we need to design the survey. Click the Design Survey button. As you can see, the survey is currently empty. We're in the Questions section, so we need to add some questions. The fastest way to do this is to click on Bulk Add, although you can add questions individually as well. It is strongly recommended that you create your questions beforehand to save time, as I have done here. I have created a number of different question types. The first two questions are asking students to rate how they feel about particular topics. These type of questions are very useful for the school self-evaluation process, as each criteria can be rated as a strength or weakness, depending on how the participants respond. The next two questions are simple yes-no type questions, and the final question is requesting some written feedback. When using the bulk add function, you must only add similar type questions together. I can copy them from here, then paste them into the question box. When I use the bulk add function, I separate each question with a space. These are the quantitative questions, so I will select Likert type question. This allows the participant to rate the answers on a scale. We also select Yes beside Required to ensure that these questions on the survey are completed. You can set the minimum and maximum of the scale. Here we rate it between 1 and 4, where Strongly Disagree is 1 and Strongly Agree is 4. Next, I click Pass Questions. Then click Save. Now I will add the next set of questions. Again, I can copy and paste them into the box and ensure each question is separated by a space. These are yes-no type questions, so I will choose Radio Type. Again, I will choose Yes in the Required option. Next, I click Pass Questions. Then click Save. Next, I want to add a qualitative question to get some feedback from students. This time, we will add a single question rather than bulk ads. Again, I can copy it from the questions I created earlier, then paste it in the box. This is a qualitative question, so I select Free Text. Select Yes under the Required option. Then I press OK. Now I have created my questions. The next step is to design the page layout. Click on the Pages tab. Then click on New Design Layout. At present, there is only a header and footer on the page. I will remove the footer and leave the header with the title of the survey. I want to capture the name and email address of each person, so I add that box. Then I will add the series of questions I have created in the order I want them to appear on the page. I then click Save and Close. The next step is the Deployment tab. Here you can copy and paste the link into an email or onto a website. However, if you are using the email function in our system, you will not need to do this. There is a video explaining how to send out the survey using our email system. Next, we click the Style Theme tab. This allows us to change the look and feel of our survey. The best one to use is the Four Schools theme, which we have created for you. Click on the Four Schools theme and then you can preview your survey. As you can see, all the questions we have created are shown with the Four Schools theme on the page. If we return to the Surveys page, we can see our survey is ready to use. If you wish to make changes to it, click on Design Survey. 
If you wish to make changes to any individual question, click on the design icon corresponding to that question. If you want to reorder the question on the survey, you can do it in the Pages section. Click on the New Design Layout icon. You can then move or even delete individual question blocks. And that is all you need to know to be able to create a survey.